I remember the first time we properly sort of got in touch was when Brooke's episode went out. Um, you might not remember, but that's pretty much when we started talking because I think you you reached out and said you wanted to come on and like you know discuss a few things about what happened to Brooke, but also maybe riders unions and uh, safety at events and stuff like that. So I wonder if you could just sort of elaborate a little bit on what, and I don't want you to throw anyone under the bus here, but you know, what was your take on Brooke's accident? No, I'll try be, try be PC. Yeah. Um, that, I guess that did spur me on. So I appreciate coming on and it's cool to reminisce and people think, oh, it's self-promotion. But what did spur me on was like, oh shit, this is getting spoken about finally. Yeah. Maybe this is a time to weigh in. Mm-hmm. So um, it's not fair for me to comment. I have so first and foremost, I got to see Brooke uh, in New Zealand. Awesome. So that was great, and everyone was so positive, and he's so positive, and he's an inspiration to everyone. And it's shitty that something like that had to happen, and that's what pisses me off. And I think you can hear it in my voice, and I heard it in his voice there was like pain in it like fuck Mm. you know like this had to happen and it could have been avoided and i'm not going to get into specifics of his accent but what could have been avoided is certain measures put in place holistically to protect the riders so let's look at it like when i raced i kept saying there's like there's riders unions in surfing there's riders unions in golf and it's like how can you not agree that the reason there's a race circuit is because there's riders? Yes, there's UCI. Yes, there's Red Bull. And I'm not downplaying any of those. Because they have a series, we can go race. But because we go race, we put on a show yeah. and it goes on Red Bull TV. I think that's a fair way to look at it. And everyone needs each other. And mm. that's the big thing. Like, If we all agree that everyone needs each other, and I think that's fair, then yep. why is the one side not getting enough of a vote or being listened to when there are things like safety, when there are things like career longevity, when there are things like salaries, when there are things like this, blah, 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 and it list goes on. Mm. So when I heard Brooke, I was like, shit, we've been speaking about this for so long, but nothing's been done. So do I go, okay, I'm going to complain about it, mm-hmm. which is now probably what it sounds like, or I'm going to start having more conversations about it at least and say, like, what can be done? A lot of red tape, there's a lot of politics. And it's long winded saying, like, I believe the riders need more of a vote. And I can say that because I don't benefit from it negatively or positively if the riders had a vote. I don't race anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a former racer that was a privateer that hustled. So I was at the bottom of the field to then having factory rides, to then having lost rides, to then retiring. So I think I can look at it pretty broadly from all aspects. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I don't feel like they have enough of a say. Like, this is a dangerous sport. I think somehow, and I don't know who's going to fund it, but there needs to be one doctor or a group of doctors that go to the race. Mm -hmm. We've spoken about it before, concussions. Yep. Like, these are the hidden scary, like, injuries that no one speaks of. There was a race in Germany. The guy got knocked out, went to hospital, came back the next day, raced, and won, which is crazy enough. (laughs) But, like... But it's not worth it. It's not worth the prize money. If he hit his head again, there could be like long term damage. Yep. Motocross has it. You get yep. you get ruled out. Yep. Especially when, like you so, said, especially when so many other sports are so far ahead of it. You mentioned NFL earlier. As soon as anyone takes a head a, a, a knock to the head in NFL, they're in the you know, they're in the blue tent, concussion protocol. Can you play, can you not? And then if yeah. you can't, it's I think it's a three week break. Something like that. Yeah. But again, and with and mountain biking yeah. it's still a badge of honour. If you crash and you get hurt, that you're back up at the top for the next, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still a bit and, of and a badge I, of honor. Absolutely. And like, obviously you take it upon yourself, but I think with more education and stricter guidelines, I think we could protect some of our riders. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the whole Brook thing is a big wake up call and you never want someone to get hurt. Not at, at that level. Um, and not someone you know and not someone so tough as him. And thank God, he is that tough and he's an inspiration to everyone. Mm. Um, mm. And again, I'm not going to get into specifics of the accent. I wasn't there. It's it's not about me. It's like, okay, guys, really, can we please use this as a wake-up to never let it happen on that scale again? And and simple things. And I don't know what it is and I don't know where to start. But I think yeah. we need the industry 
because they sponsor teams, and then we need riders, and then we need you sign Red Bull and 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 have more of a vote. Okay. And and to the point that it's like you know what, boycott a qualifying session, boycott a race if you're not getting your voice heard because you guys matter. Mm. But unless everyone gets behind it, it's like. But then, if ten teams are not going to race, but one goes and race, then he wins the race and he gets the accolades. 